Thank you for showing me an old fairy tale book. When will you come next time? We'll visit again next summer, right, Artie? Really? Will you really come again? The girl is about to cry. What? For me? Is, is that okay? Thank you. I'll take good care of it. Come on. Say goodbye to little... The girl was waving for a long time. That was... So, for those of you who don't know, that was a dream sequence. Basically, because we've gotten Maria to a yellow heart now, we saw a little dream sequence there of us talking to Maria when we were young. So, we can do more stuff with that today. But in the meantime, hey guys, it's Colorful Army back for more Harvest Moon 64. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. But yeah, that'll be interesting. We finally get a bit more story time. Hey! Hi, did you know the Vegetable Festival is tomorrow? Lots of produce is on display and everybody votes for the best. You should enter something. I think your vegetables are pretty good. Gee, thanks. The problem is the Vegetable Festival takes place so early in summer you can't possibly have any summer vegetables yet. So basically, well goodbye, see you later. Basically, you need a refrigerator to store your spring vegetables in order to uh, <laughs> enter it. No mail today. I bet my tomatoes are going to grow tomorrow or the next day. Corn does take forever to grow, but you sell it for so much. It's one of the most expensive crops in the entire game. Hey Cliff! Hi, what? I came to see the horses, but that girl's staring at me. Uh-oh. You kind of face animals are like... Yeah, Cliff, you're definitely here for the horses. So here's the thing, if we do the dream sequence, uh, like, if we meet Maria today and continue the dream sequence, basically, it'll skip to evening time, so I'm actually gonna go into the woods first. Oh, hang on, I just realized. Library is still closed. How is that going to work? Because we're supposed to have to go to the library in order to activate the dream sequence fervor. Hi, Maria! Visiting the mountain refreshes my spirits. That's good to hear. Um, let's see... Uh, here! So thank you very much! I am not a huge fan of oranges, but I appreciate the thought. <laughs> if we continue the dream sequence, we can get a big boost in affection from Maria. Alright, let's visit Ellie first, then try to break into the library. Wow, that's helpful, thanks! I like fish much better than meat, and it's more nutritious. It's not. Meat's amazing. And fish is meat. And red meat is amazing. Yeah, okay. They say my mommy's gone to a faraway place. Well, would a kitty make you feel better? Ooh, cute! So I'm not sure if the dream will just continue whenever we go into the library next. Or if it's like, oh, well, you couldn't go into the library today, so guess you don't get the dream scene. But that's okay, the library's only closed for another two days after this. And tomorrow's a festival anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Plus, even if we don't get to trigger the scene, it's not a huge deal. We can still get Maria to a pink heart before the 25th. Well, since it's festival day, nothing better to do but go out to the woods and cut some lumber and gather some stuff to sell. I suppose we could go fishing, but... nah. Why well, go fishing, which is random, when you can cut lumber, which is not only more useful, but you'll always get the same amount. You know what I will do with just a tiny bit of fishing? Woohoo! Big fish! Nice! Actually, yeah, I'm gonna sell it. We can get recipes in year two or three, but we need gold right now! The Vegetable Festival, like most other festivals, you don't have to get there until before 5 p.m. Also, a sure sign that there's gonna be a festival sometime this day is if it says it looks like it's closed today at any of the different shops in town. Normally it would just list the hours which it's open or let you go inside, but not on festival days. 
Hey, you two. Did you bring a vegetable, brother? I'm not your brother. Hey, you came. You should go greet the mayor. Everyone can be proud of their vegetables. Hey, you didn't bring a vegetable? <laughs> Correct, I did not. Well then, how about acting as a judge? He's so surprised. It's like, dude, I couldn't possibly have a vegetable anyways. But, cool festival music, I'm totally down with that. The amount of vitamins in a vegetable varies depending on how you cook them. I entered something too, an herb. Hi, everything tastes so good I can't choose. Of course, taste is the most important point, but it has to look good too, right? I heard the soil is important for good vegetables. Yep, I love vegetables, especially spring cabbage. It's good boiled or raw. Ugh, boiled cabbage is nasty. It smells terrible, but maybe I'm just biased because I hated those science experiments where you had to boil cabbage. I like vegetables that I can eat raw, like tomatoes, cucumbers, and celery. Cucumbers are the bomb, to be fair. Cucumbers are so good, they're nice crisp, have a beautiful subtle flavor. Pickles are nasty though, they ruined the cucumber. Hi, did you submit a vegetable? I'm very particular about tomatoes. That's a little hint. Karen actually likes tomatoes more than other gifts, even though it looks like she reacts the same. Nice little life hack. Now we'll announce the result- but wait, wait, I didn't talk to everybody! Oh well, there's always next year. The winner of this year's vegetable festival is... The Potion Shop Dealer! Of freaking course! The Potion Shop Dealer wins everything year one. Oh, very firm, fresh fragrance. This is what you call a real vegetable. Delicious raw and full of nutrition. Wonderful! That's the special gourmet judge, and he is by far the most repulsive character in the game. <laughs> Congratulations! I didn't get to talk to everybody. Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. And I didn't save right beforehand, either, so I'm not redoing the whole day. No siree. That's a shame. But don't worry, we'll hear all the other stuff on year two. Tomatoes have grown! Oh! <laughs> because the tomatoes have grown and it's rainy, I get to show off a not-so-good-cool little glitch in the game. So what you might not notice, so... I'm picking up the tomatoes and it's raining outside. The tomatoes are fully watered before I pick them up. After I pick them up, they're not watered anymore. I literally have to water my tomatoes now in the freaking rain. Not even going inside or leaving the screen and coming back fixes this. You have to water your crops in, in the rain if you pick them while it's raining. For the spring vegetables, that doesn't matter because they only grow once and then you have to replant. But in the summer vegetables, where as you can see, the tomatoes are going to grow back in a few days, it gets a bit annoying. I'm going to come back and pick the rest later. Oh, my most frequent customer! What will it be? You should know this by now, Miss Goddess. There will come a time where, after I get Maria to a pink heart, I will never wish for love again because it won't do anything. Because Maria will already be at a pink heart. It, thank you for grabbing the orange, Jack. However, that's when I will probably start wishing for weather, because there are certain very important dates where if it's raining, I get screwed out of the picture, so... Like on the dates where you have to get the picture with the different girls? If it's raining on that date, they just won't show up and you will not be able to get the photo. Which is why it's important to wish for weather ahead of time. Or, you know, just abuse safe states until it gets you desirable weather for the next day. I'll bring some tomatoes to give as gifts. I should also get a fan of flowers to give to Maria. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait! I just realized, it's raining! Oh, I can show off another affection level. So once a girl gets to a certain affection level, and if you go into their house when it's bad weather, there will actually be a special little scene. I totally forgot about this. It's locked! Are you kidding me? What's it take? Maria is avoiding me. I don't appreciate that. Hi, Ellie. At least you're not avoiding me. That's helpful, thanks. It's raining this morning. It makes me feel blue. 
Well, take care. She says, as happy as you could possibly be. Hello, Willie. Uh, here, have a tomato. Artie, are you eating your vegetables? Oh, yeah. I eat french fries all the time. They're important, you know. I'll tell you how to cook with vegetables. And we get the vegetable tomato stew recipe. That is not how it appears in the cookbook. This appears in the cookbook as twice cooked tomatoes and greens. Hello, I don't like dark rainy days. I just realized her sp Actually, this is something I've realized for a while. Her sprite, like, her portrait in the, like, uh, text box makes it look like she's wearing, like, a jail suit with, like, the black and white horizontal stripes. Okay. Is church open? Yeah, church is open! Hey, dude. It's Pastor Brown. Have a tomato. Thank you! Let me tell you how to make a delicious soup. And we get the tomato soup recipe. Hi, you always look busy. Oh, that's right. I still have all of my crops to harvest, and then I have to water them. I don't have to water the corn, but I do have to water the tomatoes. Hey. Wow, I made a thousand three hundred from, like, the stuff I gathered in the forest today, and my... T just one plot of tomatoes. That's awesome. I suppose it could be, like... Maria's just really creeped out that I'm constantly, like, stalking her. And she, like, locked herself in her house today? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? See how the plot changes color when I water it? That's courtesy of the glitch. Alright, I'm not gonna work myself too hard, because, A, it's raining, so easier to get sick. And also, I won't recover that much stamina overnight. But I really, really want to get that golden axe. Alright, that's going to do it for tonight. That was the freaking wrong button. Doggone it, I have to do all that again? Oh, doggone it. I pushed the load button instead of the save button. Okay. We're pushing F5 this time, not F7. Library's back open. Let's see if we can actually continue Maria's dream sequence today. Oh, and it's going to rain tomorrow. Cool. So we can get the special event in Maria's house then. Hunky dory. Hunky dory. Oh, I just realized one other thing we could try today. See if we can get that Ellie event again. You know, the one that I missed uh, last episode? You guys probably remember that clearer than I do. It was a, it's was it been a while since I recorded this last. And, well, you know. <laughs> I don't have a great memory, so... I have a great memory on some things. It's just those things that aren't that important. Like, I can recall pretty much any song from my favorite video games, like, perfectly. But, if it's, like, kind of actually important stuff, like, you know, U.S. Presidents, yeah, don't really remember that. So if there ever comes a time where I have to harvest the tomatoes and corn in the same day, that's pretty much my whole day gone. Oh, sweet! Basil's here. I've been neglecting Basil. I've also been neglecting Anne. I shouldn't do that. Oh, thank you very much. Should have talked to him as well, but yes. Pick up the freaking walnut! Thank you. Looks more like a pistachio, but it's a walnut. Also, now that it is the 11th of summer, the library schedule will go back to normal. Hello, what will it be today? Love, please. Once I get Maria to a pink heart, I can kind of stop worrying about her. Oh, hey, Poppery. I'm so happy. Thank you. Hi, hot again today, isn't it? Still at a white heart. If you are diligent and give Poppery a flower, like, every day, you can get her to a pink heart in summer easily just by doing that. You don't even have to bother with all this music box nonsense. Cicadas are some of the most obnoxious creatures, like, ever. Just purely in terms of sound. I know mosquitoes are obviously much more annoying, but man, the sound of cicadas is just... Blech. Does anybody actually like that sound? 
I really do feel bad that we're ignoring Anne so much, but that's just how the schedule happens to work out. Alright, Ellie first. Wow, that's helpful, thanks! Oh, and I forgot, the tea is also good. Take care! <laughs> it took us an entire season, but Ellie finally remembered to advertise the tea to us. So, how's your new life? I like tea. It's amazing. Tea is my favorite beverage. When I want to warm up, I drink tea. When I want to cool down, I drink iced tea. You know what my favorite letter of the alphabet is? T. Alright. Yes! Cool! This is continuing the dream sequence. Uh, hang on. I'm just gonna make- uh, just to make sure I don't screw anything up, I'm making a safe state here. So, what happens if we talk to her? I always plan to do all sorts of things during the long summer vacation, but I never end up doing anything out of the ordinary. Hey, I like routine. And hey, she's actually, like, stacking the books today. That's adorable. I'd be happy if you visited the library between jobs. Yeah, there's a book up here. Hello, please feel free to read here. An old children's book? Oh, excuse me, but that's not from the library. It's my book. Oh, was that you who gave me the book? Also, okay, I just want to say that that embarrassed face she makes is one of the most adorable sprites in the entire game. It's so cute. Alright, so here we have two options, so I'm going to show them both off. So if we say, I don't know, I'm sorry, it's a childhood memory, I can't remember the face, though I can remember events around that time. It's been more than ten years, so even if I were to see him now, I wouldn't notice. But it's my treasure. Aww. So that's kind of the end of that scene there. Whereas if we go back and say yes, I thought it might be you, but I couldn't ask. Thank you very much. I was very happy. Oh, she's blushing. That's... <laughs> this is this is such a cute scene. And that takes us outside and it magically warps it to like 5 p.m. Well, see you later. Please come again. Oh my gosh! I never realized that her, her ponytail bobs back and forth when she walks. That's such a cute little detail. Yeah, there's some things that, like, the designers really put a lot of effort into for this game, and also some things where it's like, wow, how did they miss that? <laughs> but that's part of the charm. Alright. This is one thing I want to do. So, probably before the season ends, I'm going to buy grass seeds that I'm going to plant, just because that'll help us when we eventually buy a cow. I'd like to buy a cow fairly soon, but it's not in my, in my top priorities. I want to make sure I can get the greenhouse at least by winter. And let's just say, if you don't have a greenhouse in winter, it's nearly impossible to make money in winter. So, yeah. Winter is- winter, if you've got a greenhouse, and once it reaches, like, the eighth day of winter, it's very easy to make a ton of money during that season. But if you don't, then the first eight days of winter, it's like, well, you can fish! And that's literally it. And I guess cut lumber, but there's nothing to forage in the woods. Okay. Jack's still tired from yesterday, so... You deserve a nice long sleep. Alright, we got time for at least one more day, because I'm gonna cut, like, half of this footage out anyways. We're feeding the chickens today. We're feeding the chickens, hooray! Old McGarty had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some chickens, E-I-E-I-O. And that is literally the only animal he has on the farm, because he, I guess he has a horse, but it's not that great. And he has a dog, but he doesn't even care, E-I-E-I-O. E-I-E-I-O. Alright, today we're going to pick some flowers, specifically for Anne, because she's a great girl and she deserves it. Oh, shoot, it was too early in the day to do that. 
Well, that's all right. Because we did the dream sequence yesterday, that gave her a big boost in affection. I want to say if you don't do the right thing for the dream sequence, it actually lowers her affection a little bit. I think it, that applies to any girl. I can't be sure, though. Oh, hey, Cliff. When I'm hungry, I hunt. When I need money, I work. Just living day to day. I mean, there's a certain charm to that, but also... It's important to have savings. In case something bad happens. Although, I guess if Cliff doesn't have, like, a car or anything. Or a house. So, I mean, I guess you don't need a ton of money, but... It's still good to have savings. Alright. The dog got it! The, the game just does not want me to talk to Rick! Every time I have a chance of talking to Rick, he's either not there or it's raining, so he disappears. Bother! So my plan is... Green Ranch, give something to Anne, give my egg to Gray. Maria's... And then Ellie might also be at the affection level where we can get the special scene in the rain, but... We'll have to see. I want to say it's they either need to be Yellow Heart or very close to Yellow Heart. Hey, hey, it ain't a party without Artie. What do you want? Uh, I I'm here to party. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, we can say animals, we can say Anne, or we can say nothing. Uh, right now, I, 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 I'm here to see Anne. I have nothing to say. He's very protective of Anne. Here you go. Why is that for me? Thank you. I don't like thunder. You know, animals are sensitive to sound. When it thunders, they all get frightened. Oh, I mean, you're in the barn. Wow, you guys have, like, way too many horses. Like, why would you need more than one horse? If the only purpose of having a horse in this game is to enter the freaking horse race. You literally only need one horse. And you don't even need a horse. There are chickens? What are those? Chickens are only the best animal in the game. So help me if the, if the mayor's room is locked today. Are you- why? Why is the mayor always locking his house? Come on! <laughs> I wanna see her. Well, everyone's in the library. Take care of yourself. Let's both do our best. Mommy's gone to a faraway place, see you. Why is the mayor always locking his house? Especially at times where it should not be locked. Okay, let's see if Ellie is... Yeah, okay! It works for Ellie. Hi, Artie. You know, Ellie caught a cold. Why don't you go visit her? Heck yeah. That is her room. We actually get- this is the one time in the game we get to see the girls' rooms, I believe. Oh, you came to visit me? Thank you, I'm okay now. I took some medicine. When you catch a cold, eat like a demon and sleep. It's the best. Yeah, this is like a cool little thing. Like, once you get the girls' affections to a certain level, you can, uh, when it's raining or in winter if it's snowing, go to their house, they'll have caught a cold, and we can go into their room and chat. And if we do that, it boosts their affection. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's a picture of my father and mother. What's wrong? Are you nervous? That's Grandma's bed. It's my diary. Never open it. Do people really keep diaries anymore? I mean, I guess I keep a diary in my house. In the game, not in real life. I mean, I let's play, so I don't really need to keep a diary. And that's all she says. So it's just a simple little scene, but eh, I, I like it. It adds a little bit of depth to the game and the characters. Thank you, I, you've made me happy. See you soon. That's the one time you can find Ellie on a Sunday, pretty much. Don't work too hard when it's raining. It's easy to get tired and catch a cold like my granddaughter. Hey, Poppery. Hello, Ellie's cakes are the best, aren't they? See ya, keep up the good work. Oh, that reminds me. So, I made a mention of, like, Ellie always disappears on Sunday. Like, literally just flat out disappears and you can't find her anywhere. I have a theory. I'm pretty sure Sunday is the day she goes into the back and actually bakes all the stuff that they sell at the bakery. That's my opinion. Because that would also explain why she disappears even if it's raining. Because if it's raining, she's normally just supposed to default to the bakery in here. 
But it would make a lot of sense if she was like, well, it's raining, but that doesn't affect baking day. So how's it? Dude, can you say anything else? I'm gonna drink some water. Cheers. Glug, 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 glug. Huh. You know what? May I help you? We're gonna buy cake today. Thank you. Each time you buy cakes, we put a sticker on this card. Collect enough, and you can get a raffle ticket at the end of the year. Maria deserves a piece of cake. I thought Maria would be sick, but the mayor's walking his house all the time, so I can't visit her. <laughs> it's almost like he doesn't want us to get together. To be fair, I'm, I, I have been kind of creepy towards Maria. Like... My character goes out of his way to visit her every single day, and, like, just stalks her relentlessly. It is very creepy. Let me in! I demand to see my future wife! <laughs> I know she's in the library, but I know if I could enter that house, she'd be in there, too. Another <laughs> quirky little glitch. Grandpa, what am I supposed to do? The mayor keeps locking his house, so I can't visit my, my girlfriend when she's sick. Please, Grandpa. Show me guidance. Tell me what to do. I'm lost without you. Cemetery for animals, old grave. Can't read the inscription. Ah, humbug. Well, you know, we got time, so might as well cut some lumber. Well, bobber. I feel like every time it's going to rain, it's going to be on, like, a Sunday or something where the mayor locks his house. Because, I mean, on Sunday, it's true, the mayor generally does go to church to pray so he would lock his house. But, I mean, if it's raining, he should just be in his house anyways. It's just it's a bit frustrating, but it's also kind of hilarious. I like I like the interpretation where it's like the mayor does not approve of you and Maria going out, so he's like trying to lock me out to make sure I can't visit her when she's sick. I think that's like an interesting character uh, <laughs> interpretation. And honestly, the characters in this, like the major ones, like the girls, do have a lot of depth to them, but like the minor characters, like the mayor, have like are they're extremely one dimensional. So you you kind of gotta <laughs> you kind of gotta develop their personalities on your own. It's like the mayor. It's like he's jolly and helpful, and that's it. So if if I'm just guessing, I believe my corn is going to be grown tomorrow. I also am willing to bet my tomatoes will also grow again. So it'll be a huge harvesting day tomorrow, most likely. Now, granted, to be fair, I have until I get married to uh, visit Maria when she gets sick. So I... Woohoo! Golden Axe! Yes! Now we can do a super cut to instantly cut a stump. So after that, I think I'm going to start leveling up my hoe now. Mainly because when we inevitably get the greenhouse, it helps to have a golden hoe. And after you get the greenhouse and till all the soil in there, there is literally no purpose in having the golden hoe. So, might as well get it now. Actually, no. No, you know. You know what? I can, If I'm going to practice the hoe, I'm going to practice it on my farm and potentially get the power nut. Uh, I'll want my hammer. Honestly, the golden hammer, literally there's one thing in the entire game that you need the golden hammer for, and after that it's completely useless. And you can't even use the golden hammer to get that thing until winter. But doggone it. The, our hammer's probably already almost gold, so might as well. Alright, before I got interrupted by the golden hammer, I was talking about something, and I can't really remember what. Uh, oh yeah. We, we, we don't have to, we, we have until winter, basically, to see Maria get sick and visit her. So, it's no rush at all, it's just it would help to get it soon. Just because if you visit Maria when she has a cold, or if you visit any girl when they have a cold, then it boosts their affection. So it would help just to get that nice little boost to help her up, get up to Pink Heart as soon as possible. But again, I'm not worried. She's very definitely deep into the Yellow Heart range, almost at Pink Heart. And we still have more than 10 days to get her there. And 
at least we'll finally be able to get a music box tomorrow. We we went this whole episode without getting a single music box. That is kind of astonishing to me. Anyhow, I've been talking for long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode of Harvest Moon 64. We'll be continuing the summer days. And we're going to soak up the sun and, you know, talk to girls. All that jazz. Have a great day, and God bless.